Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be showcasing how you can turn the bright side into the best version of itself. TDL weapons have reload effects that often fall short, but combine the perfect reload effect with the right items, and you can raise their damage dramatically. I'll be showing you how you can do that, what those items are, and where you can get them. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, and if you're enjoying the content I put out and haven't already, then you're always welcome to subscribe, and let's crack into it. So let's start with the mainstay, the bright side, a TDR shotgun that can come in all of the elements. It belongs to DLC 3 and it has an increased chance to drop from the Bronsons that you fight around here in the Blast Plains. The bright side is a solid shotgun stats wise, firing either 12, 13 or 18 pellets, consuming 1 or 2 bullets per shot. Because it's a TDL weapon, you don't just chuck away the magazine when you reload, but the whole entire gun, which will explode and spawn 4 hovering drones. Those drones don't adhere to the element of the gun, but fire either incendiary, radioactive, corrosive or cryo rounds, one for each drone. You can have up to 12 active at one time, and they last for long enough to do some welcome damage, but you can get that damage soaring with the right setup. Combine its reload effect with the Guardian, and the bright side will transform into a completely different weapon. You can get one from the Fallen Heroes Vault card as part of the Director's Cut. Forget actually shooting people, just use it as a drone deployer and watch as the crowds thin away. Because the Guardian boosts your damage the further you are from your enemies, it couples perfectly with the bright side's reload effect, as you can use the distance thrown to your advantage and simply swap to the Guardian for a big increase in damage. If you want to see it reach its full potential, then you'll want a Guardian with the U-Rad Anointment, which will add a hefty amount of radiation damage to each drone, as long as you're below 50% health. To achieve that, I equip a Deathless Artifact, which you can get from Phoenix, so you fight around here in the Splinterlands, but if you run Moe's, you can use Thin Red Lion. It can comfortably drop bosses with a single reload on every single character, however, it is limited by the drone's targeting systems, which often mistake big giant bosses for friendlies when they're anything but. When they do lock on correctly, they'll down that boss in a very short amount of time, and you'll also want a Revolter equipped for maximum damage. The thing about this setup is any bright side will do, the anointment only matters for the Guardian since we're swapping to that each time we reload. Unlike other TDL weapons, the bright side's reload effect won't get any stronger the more bullets there are in the mag, making the lowest capacity version the best for ammo conservation, especially while mobbing. With it you can call in your very own drone strike over and over while you stand back and watch as your enemies just fade away. You want to unleash the drones above your enemy's line of fire because they will destroy them, and the explosion that spawns the drones can be deadly both to you and your targets. On Moe's, you want to be rocking her Minesweeper class mod as there's little splash damage to be had here. With all those pellets, it'll proc way more than you think, and the micro grenades will also have their damage upscaled by the Guardian. For Zane, the Hustler Com is a great choice, giving the drone barrage an upscaled crit boost but Flak will feel that all the time, and if you want to make the most out of that long distance damage, then run Rack Attack with the Peregrine class mod. For Amara, she can run just about anything and have the Guardian boost phase cast and phase slam too. Every Vault Hunter can use this tactic to provide massive automated damage with little threat of getting down. These legendary weapons pair extremely well together and will have you dishing out heavy damage in a completely new way. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned how you can make full use of the bright side's reload effect to cause some serious carnage. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.